Okay, we are ready to go out. Well, this one is all dressed up. So it's now Monday. Health visitor's just been. Midwife. Midwife has just been. So now we are going to take this one out for the first time. And we gorgeous little girl. Hello. So we're going to take her to cross the lounge, have some dinner there, and. Maybe see for a little little stroll on Mumble's set. See how we are feeling with your stomach. Are you excited, little girl? Baby girl. Our outing has been a success. Outing. Well, this one needed a feed. Just, uh, just as we finished. Yeah, just as we finished. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. So the plan is, this one's having her food, and then this one's going to go up and have an ice cream. I'm hungry. And there's many. Do you not hungry again? Love me, Lars. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we're back now. Um, came back, my parents made us food. And, not that we've eaten it yet actually, it's still in the kitchen, but we've got food. Um, my parents made it, but they also brought the dog back. Who, to be fair to him, has been absolutely excellent. Turn it off. He's had quite a few sniffs of her. Oh, my Okay, so we're back and Nora is in her answer. Can you it's not over her face. She's holding it. Okay. She see she's picking up. She's so strong. This one's now met her. And he loves to go over, give her a sniff, and then go back. Oh, I thought he was gonna do it then. Yeah. He goes back and he sits down again then. He's been absolutely excellent with it, to be fair. He loves to come give her a sniff. But he hasn't done any more than sniff her and walk away. He hasn't like tried to paw her or anything, which is fantastic, which is what we were worried about, because he's a very bouncy dog. I knew. Yeah. But, enjoy Bumble, didn't we? Yeah. It was nice to get out. Actually, lush to get out. So now we're going to watch... We're going to watch Walking Dead now. I'm just walking dead and go to bed several times as we get for this one. How old? Very little. Five days. Five days. Oh, you're very blessed. <laughs> She's gorgeous, oh. hmm? Second time. Well, second time for you. What did you say? Oh, second time out, sorry. Yes, yes. yes. second time was yesterday. Oh. What a fast time. Yes. Oh, how lovely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's the first time we've been asked. Mm -hmm. No one asked us in Mumbles. We were very sad. Even to have my face. Oh. There you go. We've gone for another walk. And she's hungry. And she's amazing. And she didn't sleep last night till 3 a.m. So apart from that, she's amazing. Yeah. Um, she's amazing in the day. Yeah, she's amazing anyway. I, I managed to watch two films, so. You know, it was nice for her to give me that me time to watch films while she um, wouldn't sleep otherwise. Yeah, so we... <coughs> so we come out again. Now that the majority of visiting is out of the way, we've, um, I say that, um, like, we've had three texts since six o'clock yesterday saying, are we alright to come meet baby Nora at some point? When you're free, when you're available, everyone's so lovely about it, obviously, but I don't think the visiting's anyone when you're actually over, but the load of visitors in one go, meeting all the family, that's passed, so now we can leave the house and we can take out, see some sights, you know. Nice. Did they're on camera? It's okay. No one's dredging, aren't they? Can you come in? 
Oh, also, we um, didn't say before just because it wasn't um, a priority at the time to mention it, but um, the birth was not ideal. Um, who cares now? She's out. She's safe. Um, and you're both happy and healthy and everything else. That's fine. But it wasn't ideal. Hand. But gotta say, the NHS are incredible. Clearly, from what we saw and experienced, and uh, um, underpaid. Um, they haven't got as much equipment as they should have, or like and silly things, not things that mattered. Like Abby needed an epidural, so we had two lots of epidural. Um, three in total. Three lots of epidural. Sorry, and the spinal. And the spinal. And local anaesthetic. And local anaesthetic. And remifen, and lin, lin, and <laughs> remifentanol. Remifentanol and the stuff to get you induced initially, and then the gel after that. And perpetine. And the blood transfusion. I mean, obviously, the stuff that matters, they had. Um, things like, oh, we'll see if we can find a pillow, stuff like that is annoying for them. That that should be there. So, they were provided with cotton wool, it is our cotton yeah, wool. Yeah, cotton wool and stuff like that. So that was just like really sad on the NHS, and that shows that they're clearly underfunded. But the individuals, the people, were absolutely incredible. The service we had was second to none. I don't think you could go anywhere in the world and have better service from the individuals. Our midwives were amazing, all the ones, the anesthesiologists, um, the surgeons, everyone was absolutely incredible. So, She's like. Not drinking. We're so blessed to live in a place where you have that kind of service. Um, so yeah, it was lovely, it was really awesome. And Abby, because um, Nora popped in her womb good times, because that she had to have one-to-one -one care, and she did. She literally had someone in the room, apart from when they literally just left I think you have to anyway. grab something. No, they said you have to have one-to-one -one care and someone can't leave the room now. So apart from leaving the room to grab a pen, grab someone, you know, that kind of thing, she had someone with her the entire time, both before obviously do run. She had 20 people in the room um, doing the surgery at times. No, 12. I just made that up. I said 20. She had 12 people in the room at one point. Um, and then she had a one-to-one -one care again afterwards. So, like, amazing. So, thank you, Andreas. Enjoy? Yeah. I will say, is considering you are five days postpartum, six days. Six She's seven days old tomorrow. Considering you're six days postpartum, the fact that you can, and there is a C-section, the fact that you can get down, climb over her to get nappies, and then change her. I'm telling my mum that I've done that. Well, that's it now. You call it there. Like you're doing amazing, and we're gonna go for another walk now. And this one. Is loving life. Yeah, quite literally loving life. You've been here seven days. You're having a great time. Eating loads of food, filling loads of nappies. And go down the beach now, eh? In fact, we're gonna go see if we can pick up your carrier and see if you like being carried. Walking around carrier there. Lots of pants. Yeah, fine. I'm a bit, I've got a bit of a day today. Yeah, I've got a bit of a day today. Yeah, drinking loads. She's still up. It's first stamina. <laughs> oh, this is six days old, seven tomorrow, and she's up, hello, and looking, your neck shouldn't be this strong yet, hey, <laughs> what was that, <laughs> there you go, that's what I've had work with her, I mean you don't have to look up, you don't have to look up, hello, 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 you okay, you can go sleep, no. She's amazing. Oh. 
I can see the camera mess. What? What? Hey? Hello? What you doing? What you doing? Oh, bless you. Baby Nora's first bath. Ah, it's like nine o'clock at night. On the day you're a week old. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock at night. This poor girl's got terrible wind in you. Oh, you can scratch your face. So, first bath in the dining room. Baby girl has some terrible wind. Some late night bath. See if she'll have her food now, or maybe we'll go to bed this side of midnight. Maybe. Nah. <laughs>